Well, hey guys, here at the uh, off-grid camper in the woods, and uh, got some free time, so I'm making videos. But I wanted to do an update on that non-electric DIY um, dehumidifier, because it seems to be working pretty good, so I thought I'd share you, uh, share with you the results. And best way to do that is just show you. So, come on around here. Here's one of them. I've got it set up in the kitchen. It looks a little funky, but that's how it gets, I guess, after a while. Hopefully, if you look down in there, you can see that it's actually gathering moisture in the bottom. Maybe not. Don't mind my garbage if you saw that. <laughs> so I got one in the kitchen. Come on over here. This is my refrigerator, but I'm just using it for storage. Mainly for my towels. Now last winter I had a big issue with my towels and stuff getting moldy. Um, having them sitting up in the cupboards. Like up in there because the cupboards stay cold and the air out here is hot and moist so any air that gets in the cupboard the moisture condenses out of it onto whatever's in that cupboard because it's cold as well and it gets filled with mold, uh, moisture and it molds so I put on my put my socks in the crisper drawers and put my uh, towels and washcloths in the refrigerator and I placed uh, a small container of that calcium chloride in a little uh, plastic bin. And hopefully you can see there's a bunch of liquid gathering up in there. That salt solidifies and turns into one big solid chunk. So with this one, I don't have any way to drain it. So just once a month, I just take and I dump the liquid off and stick it back in there. Seems to be working pretty good. I mean, there's a... I just changed that maybe a week ago. And there's probably, I don't know, a quarter cup, half cup of water in there. That's water that would be inside my towels and stuff. Causing mold right now if I didn't have that in there. Same thing up here. I just got a few extra sweaters and stuff that I don't normally use. Got a thing of salt up here. And uh, this one doesn't seem to gather any moisture, but it's there just in case. And over here, come over to my closet where my clothes are. Lighting is limited in the camper. I've got most of the windows wrapped in plastic and covered in uh, cloth to uh, help keep the heat in so a lot of light doesn't get in. I got all of the lights in the camper on right now so if the lighting doesn't seem too good you just have to bear with me because it's everyday life for me. I rarely ever have all the lights on. I pretty much just do that for the uh, sake of the viewers to try and make the video as best as possible But here's one Now this one seems to gather quite a bit. You can see the salt has uh, Disappeared in some spots That's because it's actively working I just changed all these out about a week ago. I changed them out just about once a month and I all combined I get about one and a half to two gallons of water a month out of these. So that's one and a half to two gallons of water that would be in my clothes, my towels, uh, my blankets, my sheets. So it's uh, a big benefit. But I keep one in the closet because that's where I had issues last year with my clothes and stuff molding. 
And then back here in these uh, cupboards, I keep these open now because that way it creates a more even heat so it's not as cold in there. So when the air from the room enters in there, the moisture doesn't condense on the cold things that are inside there. That helps a lot. I have the airflow and uh but even beyond that it's i still get moisture in here so i put one of them right up here to gather moisture this one seems to gather quite a bit too i don't know if it's because it's up high or if it's just because it's in a location that i had a lot of moisture issues last year but so far knock on uh fake wood i uh I haven't had any mold issues, and I haven't had that musty smell or anything either. I've had quite a few people in here, and they're like, yeah, it smells fine. It's, it's nice, so that's nice. I can actually have people over here and uh, not worry about them smelling that musty, moldy smell that you get in cabins and campers and stuff. So I have uh, three of the uh, seed starter tray dehumidifiers and then I just have the two um, little plastic storage container dehumidifiers in the uh, in the refrigerator that's pretty much it again um, I'm still working on that same I think it was a 25 or 50 pound bag of calcium chloride that cost me $15. I think it's been, I want to say at least three months because I know I've emptied them out three times now and I empty them once a month. And in that three month period, I've drawn out about five to six gallons of water. So that's a lot of water that would be in this fake wood. I mean, I was getting mold on the outside of these uh, green mold growing. So it's eliminating that. It's eliminating the mold and moisture that would be getting in my cornmeal, rice, you name it. And it's most importantly eliminating the mold and moisture that would be getting in my uh, blankets and towels and clothes. Huh? That's it. The, the DIY non-electric dehumidifier using calcium chloride seems to be working great. And it only cost me about 15 to 20 bucks. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the moisture uh, last year. All year long, especially in the winter, the humidity in here at, at the minimum was 70%. But if you look at this, now the humidity is always, almost always below 50%. I think right now it's at about 40 or 45%. That's pretty much what it's been throughout the whole winter. And if you know anything about mold and how mold grows and mildew and things of that nature, it requires humidity levels at or above 50% to grow. So if you can keep the humidity below 50%, the mold can't grow. So I would say, you know, combined with a couple other things I've done, the the uh, DIY dehumidifier is uh, doing its job. I mean, it doesn't pull out a lot. Uh, a gallon to two gallons a month may not seem like a lot of moisture compared to a, an electric dehumidifier, but it's enough in this small camper to keep that humidity level below 50% and keep all my clothes and dry goods, food and stuff from molding. And that's, that's what I wanted. That's what it's doing. So 
I figured I'd share that and uh, hopefully it helps. Thanks for watching.